The Satanic Temple has experienced a huge surge in membership following the election of Donald Trump. That's right, the Satanic Temple, who's been trying to combat Christianity and government for the last several years, had a membership, membership surge following the selection of Donald Trump. The selection of Donald Trump has been the best thing that has ever happened to the Satanic Temple. Founded in 2013, this relatively new organization now boasts chapters all over the country. And over the past couple of months, they have experienced a huge surge in membership. Recently, the Los Angeles chapter held a full-blown Satanic Mass that included a live bloodletting ritual. But mostly... It is the Satanic Temple's ultra-liberal po politics and anti-Trump message that is fueling interest in the group. Of course, the Satanic Temple is not officially aligned with the Democratic Party. But without a doubt, the organization is extremely opposed to everything that Donald Trump says that he stands for. The following comes from LA Weekly. While the Satanic Temple doesn't align itself with any political parties, campaigns, or candidates, the organization's goals are in staunch opposition to the Trump administration's crackdowns on reproductive health, freedom of the press, and transgender rights. We want First Amendment rights, we want women to have control of their bodies, and we want the LGBT community to have equal rights, Morrison says. Obviously, with Trump and Pence being in office, and the administration that's being put in place right now, we're probably looking at a more aggressive stance. Than in previous years, he says membership in the organization surged after Trump was selected, with thousands of new members now spread among dozens of chapters around the world. Excuse me, not just in the U.S., it's around the world. Another article that Michael Snyder found uh, had some more specific details. You'll have to excuse me, I've got a, I've got a cold. Uh, prior to the election, the Satanic Temple had about 50,000 members. But once Trump won in November, registrations and donations started to come in at a staggering pace. The Satanic Temple attracted thousands of new members in just the 30, 36 hours after the election of Donald Trump, according to co-founder Lucian Greaves. The four-year-old temple, which had a pre-Trump membership around 50,000, has never before seen a spike in registration nearly this big. It's crazy. He said after a speech in front of some adoring fans at CU Boulder, the emails, registrations, donations, and social media posts are pouring in faster than the temple can respond. People have a desperate need for something to rally to right now, and it's Satan. Really? How I just don't understand. How, how do you not get it that it's a, it is in blatant opposition to Christianity? Or is that the point? creating a uh, quote-unquote armed forces of Satanists. At this point, membership in the group is somewhere around 100,000, but it continues to grow every day as their anti-Trump message resonates with young adults. You see, they're going after the children, especially the ones now. They're going after the schools. They're going after education. They're going after public announcements, uh, council meetings, that's what I was trying to figure out what to say, my bad. It surprises many people when they learn that the Satanic Temple does not actually promote belief in a literal being named Satan. Instead, they portray themselves as justice-oriented atheists. You know, this is kind of funny, because it's just like scientists. They say they don't have a religion, but guess what? Science is a religion. Justice-oriented atheists that are promoting LGBT causes, climate change awareness, evolution in public schools, and especially abortion rights. So murdering children, equating humanity to monkeys, and population control by climate control. And of course, population reduction by making everybody homosexual. Got it. Recently, recently, the Satanic Temple, a non-theistic religious organization known for uh, protesting Christian influence in the government, turned its attention to this attack on women's reproductive health, staging Satanic counter-protests at anti-abortion rallies and filing a lawsuit against the state of Missouri on behalf of one of their uh, members who is forced to wait 72 hours to get an abortion due to state's waiting period law. It, it's just, it's like it's manifesting. Let's put it that way. The opposition is manifesting. Now, I'm not, you all know I don't fully support Trump, or we don't fully support Trump. 
I truly believe in an unbiased view of who's ever sitting in office. Because it doesn't matter who's sitting in office, Jesus is still king. The opposition, though, could not be more clear. I want to thank you all for watching and listening. Make sure you become an unlimited member. That way you get the latest exclusives that we produce bi-weekly. I want to thank you again for watching and listening. God bless and carry on.